Hello everyone, welcome to Fame World Educational Hub. Myself, Ashwarya Saxena, and I hope you are a subscriber of Fame World Educational Hub. So, we were working on the Python programming, and in the last video, we discussed about the bubble sorting. I hope you have watched that particular video, and if not, you can just watch it. It is in the playlist. And uh, now I'm going to start with the selection sort right away. So I'm creating a program for selection sorting and uh, selection sort is another manner of uh, sorting the list, sorting the array even. But uh, yes, in Python we are having lists also, so we can sort it with the help of list even. And uh, here I'm just opening some stuff for, for selection sort from some online medium. So basically when we are talking about the sorting and all these are data structure things. So when you are doing the data structure using Python, so you can use this program, you can perform this program easily. And it's really simple. Here what we do, we basically compare the first first element to each or like one by one we will compare and according to the values we will swap in the order which we want. So these way, this way the iterations goes and then we get the passes, like different passes we will going first element to second, then first element to th uh, third, then first element to th fourth, we will be comparing in this way. And as we will be getting the value is smaller than the first one. So if you are uh, in sorting in the ascending order, so we will swap, like we will be comparing here, there's no requirement of swapping, then here is no requirement here. Here is the requirement, you can see 14 and 10, here is the requirement of swapping. So the 10 is here now and 14 is here. So, so the position is interchanged, you can see. After that, we will now not check this 10 because it is fixed now. Then we will check 33 to 27, then this 14. So now you can see, like when you are comparing, so here 33 to 27 we have compared, then we have compared the next element. Let's start the programming for this. And uh, you can just check that online stuff for the reference purpose. There are multiple ways, like multiple websites available. If you want the graphical representation is very good. So here I am coming towards the program now. And uh, for this I am creating here a function def sort. I have created a sort function. And here I will be passing a nums list. So for i in range of 5. Then here I am taking min position. So min pause equals to i. So I have just taken a variable min pause for the min position and that I am assigning i. So the first index uh, will be there simply assigned. So min position equals to i. And then I am taking for j in range of i to suppose 6. And then if num nums of j less than nums of okay so nums of j is uh, less than nums of min position that is the first value or the minimum value which we have taken so we will assign like now if we have got the new meaning minimum value so we will assign this j to that this way after that uh, here i am mm, doing the swapping m temporary variable for the like changing of the values swapping the values i am taking this temporary variable and nums i equal to nums of min position and then nums of min position equals to temp now i am going to take our list so here i have taken nums and list we have taken and now let's print the first of all the list before swapping so before sorting actually before sorting and then sort function first of all we will call sort and then print after sorting
okay so let's run it and here you can see our program is working very properly so the before sorting list you can see all the values are coming in the random order as we have given in the list itself and then after sorting you can see all the values are arranged here so here all the values are properly sorted you can see and this is our program so this way uh, you can create the program of selection sorting and uh, uh, let's run it once again you can see it's working very properly this was before sorting and this is after sorting so if you want descending order so you can just change the symbol and then the swapping will be done so it will be swapping in the reverse order so, so we'll be getting in the descending order and it's your assignment to do the same program making it user defined so just check the list input from the user and uh, the video is there that if you are having confusion that how you can take input from user in the list so you can just check in the series the video is there and also make this in the descending order like what we have done we have made this program it is in ascending order it is sorting the elements in the ascending order and in the descending order you have to sort so i hope this program was clear if you are having any confusions you can ask in the comment section and see you in the next video